I mean, if I had evidence of that, that would make the show very exciting tonight. But you don't have that evidence. What I do have is that we know that they did not have the evidence to go to war. And so what we do know they now, there are thousands, they had some but there evidence. are thousands of soldiers. Okay. There are, thou when there are thousands turn, of When babies. did you, Reverend, turn against this war? When did you decide it was immoral? I turned against this war when I knew in the beginning that this war was illegal and that we were rushing off to a war not for the right reasons. And we were just speeding under, down this under course. What load, under uh, what law? International law? Because the American law says the president needs the support of Congress to go to war, and they gave him the blank check well, to go I'm to war. Well, I'm not talking about international law or American law. What I'm talking about is human law. Right. When we put humanity first again, we're not dealing with our law, our country, and their country. We're putting human people first. So you believe in first. something called natural law. There's certain I'm, things that are wrong. That's right. Natural law and putting human people first. Yeah, fine. A lot of liberals don't, but the way I do, and Clarence, Clarence Thomas does, too. We were taught that. Well, natural good. law. There's something murder is wrong. Murder is wrong. Okay, it's let, that let, fifth let, commandment. That, okay, you know, I, we, wanna, I want you to so give well. me a Thou first... Thou shalt not kill. Now I want some street color here. What was it like to go to the White House, which you grew up respecting and looking at this building where the president lives, and marching in and breaking the law? What actions did you take to get arrested? Well, we sat down in front of the which White side, House. Which side of the White House did you go on? Uh, we sat down in front of the gates. So I'm not exactly sure. The North sure what... Gate, the one on Pennsylvania Avenue? Or the uh, one in the back? The one in front of my Lafayette, in front oh, of Lafayette I'm Square. At, there you are, there you are. Okay. Lafayette so we're, we're right in front of Lafayette Square. You're in front of the White House, yeah. And the thing about it, let me say that. I don't like to get arrested. It isn't my, I don't get up in the morning well, to want to get. what act did you commit to get arrested? We sat down, like Rosa Parks on did. Those, on we those sat down. We up. sat down on the sidewalk. Like Rosa Parks had to sit down so others could stand up. And we sat down so others could live. Others could have a life. Others could live in Iraq peaceably. Others could live, we could bring the there truth you are. home is that now. You, sir? Is that you, That is me right there. You're up right next to that gate. I am right next to that gate. Trying and and, and what did the police officer? Do you remember any words spoken to you by the cap of the United well, States? We the White our, House executive we police. We came with our declaration of peace. Because what we are trying is the faith community, what you said earlier, it's important for the church community. We need to wage peace and not wage war. Okay, what's so the biggest demonstration we're going to see the next week? Anywhere is there going to be a big one or just 34 people? That's not going to stop a war. Well, you know, well, you never know. You never know. It, took, it takes one person to start a war, to stroke that pen. So it takes one person but to stop a war. But there are 300 million people out there who are, who are not protesting. And there are over 2,600 soldiers who have died. I know. And Will there are over 100,000 Iraqis who have Without died. the draft, without the threat of conscription, which really was the spur to the anti-war movement in a large extent back in the 60s in my day, do you think you can get massive demonstrations against this war without the draft? I going believe after we can. people. I believe, I'm, I'm not trying to support this war by drafting more poor people. No, and, I'm and, saying that that's what gets you know, people in the streets. Well, I mean, if, if that's what well, we're hoping that we, we're hoping that rich people don't have to have their kids go. We're hoping that people will stop the war. Rich, poor, middle class, it doesn't matter. We're hoping that people, uh, Americans, right. can rise well, to the Well, that's the great goal of every demonstration and every movement is to unite the needs of the poor with the fears of the rich. The, you have to got to get to both. We have to get the boat. We have yeah. to get all of America. Yeah, well. Because, see, in the time, in the 21st century, we can't keep bringing rich or poor, well, black I'm or white, afraid, yellow Reverend, or yellow, but it's time this, for all I'm of us to, to get together. You, but you've only just begun. Thank you, Reverend Yearwood. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, up next, much more on the